Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Fight Night Live from the historic York Hall in Bethnal Green, London. We get things started with four rounds scheduled in the Super Welterweight Division. Brought to you by Frank Warren on behalf of Queensberry, along with their great sponsors, 32 Red, Foot Asylum, and Unibet. Timekeeper is Stephen Pucci, and when the bell rings, our referee in charge and scoring this contest will be Bob Williams. Introducing to you first fighting tonight out of the red corner, he's wearing blue with white and weighed in at 11 stone, 2 pounds. Coming to us from Blackburn, Lancashire, he is a veteran of 69 professional bouts. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Naeem Ali. And his opponent across the ring fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing black with yellow and weighed in at 10 stone, 12 pounds. Hailing from Reading, Berkshire, he was a four-time amateur national champion and now as a professional is undefeated with two wins. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Joshua Frankel. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome on to the event. We're not going to fight at standing. We'll go to the furthest view to call and stay there. Protect yourself at all times. Touch those boys. Let's have a good one. Four rounds. Joshua Frankham, one of the famous Frankham family, and his cousin Levi made his pro debut, another super welterweight, outpointed Paul Cummings earlier on this evening. And now Josh Frankham in the ring for the third time as a pro up against a very, very busy journeyman in Naheem Ali, 25 years old, tonight in his... Oh, let me work this one out, 70th professional contest. He's been a busy boy. Yeah, he's been about a bit, hasn't he, Ali? And uh, these are the, the kind of contests that, that Frankham's going to need. I like the look of uh, Josh Frankham. Um, I think he boxes very well. I think he's got a lot of skill. I've seen his two opening contests, and uh, he's impressed me. So let's see what he, what he can do tonight against a very experienced man indeed, Ali. His uncle back in the early 70s was the British light heavyweight champion Gypsy Johnny Franken who famously dropped Muhammad Ali in sparring reputedly that is something that, that story has been told once yeah. or twice <laughs> <laughs> absolutely Josh won the 2017 GB Youth Championship beat Mark Dickinson in the final, which is not a bad result because Dickinson went on to win the elites and boxed in the Europeans and the World Championships. So that's the sort of level that Josh is capable of fighting at. Yeah, he's fought some really good, um, at a good level uh, uh, as an amateur, as Josh Frankham. Bob Williams just telling Franken to tidy his work up. Ali, who's a serial loser, but he's never been stopped, knows how to survive. Yeah, keeps the guard nice and high, doesn't he, Ali? And uh, gets through contests, head movement there, just avoiding shots, so... That's the test for Frankham tonight to, to try and pierce that guard, get through with the heavier shots. And a lot of the time, John, it's not just a physical battle, it's a mental battle in terms of keeping you keeping patient and not getting frustrated. And these are the type of opponents that can, can test, test you in that way. Used to be managed by the late Greg Steen, Naeem Ali, now looked after by Joe Pennington. Frankham trying to unleash a variety of shots and again pushing on he's been warned about that already <laughs> cousin of Tyson Fury Josh Rankin oh good shot yeah good left hook at the end of the round there from Frankham I think Ali felt the weight of it 
keen to keep his elbows tucked in as the bell goes to end the first round. Some of the action from that opener. Yeah, good left up there that was delivered from Frankham. It was his round. Ali certainly felt that one. He was a little bit tense in there at times, though, Frankham, so he's just got to relax a little bit more, but he won the opener. Four-rounder, and we move into the second. Only not doing a great deal more than just tucking up and looking to survive. this type of opponent in front of you, John, this is when you've got to use that jab. You, you heard um, the corner uh, of Josh Frankham say, use the jab, open him up with the jab, and, that, and that, this is what he's got to do to set the attacks up, work with that lead hand. That was a better uppercut that went through, that was a nice shot there from Frankham. Yeah, decent right hand. And, uh, well, you don't have to be a great student of boxing to know that there's a bit of power on these body shots from Frankham. Just occasionally, Ali comes back with the single shot. So that's why the, the, the crowd just hear the crowd saying, keep your hands up. Because Frankham just got caught with it with a shot there from Ali. So he's just reminded him that you can't just walk down with, with, with that lead hand too low all the time. But nevertheless, good variation in his work, uh, Frankham. Good right up a cup. When you do get through against Ali, he has that rather infuriating habit of sticking his tongue out as much as to say, is that all you got? <laughs> and that's where, you know, you, you can't fall into that trap and get frustrated, you've just got to keep going and keep, keep working away, finding the gaps. That single jab there, that was a nice shot. But Ali, tough, tough man. Keeps the guard. Nice and high, elbows tucked in, grabs, look, you see. No, he knows how to just let the clock run down. So it's an experienced man. Yeah, you'd think those body shots, you're certainly feeling those, though, you would have thought. Whatever the kidology might be to suggest the opposite fact he was holding on for a second or two would uh, make the suggestion that maybe he felt the weight of those. And again, Frankham thuds home with that right hand. He's been super busy, Ali. Uh, it's only like 30 fights in 2019. Don't have too much, don't have too much time for training when he no, fights that's off the that, no, But that's part of his training program, probably. No. And he's won the first two. Remember when I was over in... Uh, Las Vegas for the Fury fight over there. I was out for a, an early morning constitutional and bumped into a couple of the Frankham lads walking down the boulevard and we got chatting and they said, watch out, watch out for Josh Frankham. He's going to be turning pro soon. And here he is. Yeah, there you go. Look at OK. Saw one of them tonight. He told me I owed him 1,500 quid. I'm not sure where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I had 1,500 quid to give him. Oh, oh I bet, yeah. <laughs> Working well to the body there, Frankham. Threes and fours going in. Ali, a tough man, though, isn't he? Taking these shots, that little right up again, got through there. Ali certainly felt that one. Journeyman, okay, they are serial losers that they perform a very useful function within boxing and to have fight as often as these guys do and not get hurt in the process requires more than a modicum of talent, Richie. Yeah, they are very important to the game indeed. Up and coming boxers that are coming through to give them experience. Um, yeah, they play a vital role in boxing for the journeyman. 
And when you've got a journeyman here who's never been stopped, then that, that's the challenge, isn't it, to, to, to try and beat him and stop him. And two experienced guys who took him the distance, Josh, Kevin McCauley and MJ Hall, in his first two professional contests. And it would be, let's be honest, a bit of a surprise if he were able to get Ali out of here inside the four-round distance. But you never know, he'd love to do precisely that. interest in Franken's career curve is he going to be able to turn out to be another star from the traveling community I well, certainly think he's, he's got the tools for the job here Franken I think he's been well schooled he's got good technique you're hearing uh, his corner just saying use the jab a little bit more and that's what he's got to do and set the attack so but i like the way he switches the attack he works with the jab and then he'll whip a right cross uh, downstairs and finish on the left hook also so he knows you know to go through the gears and switching the attack is is that's a good punch to the right hand listening patient and patiently listening attentively richie yeah well that's what you've got to do in the corner Say that it's not everybody who does. No, it isn't. But yeah, it's, it's, it's vital you listen to your coach. Obviously, in the corner, very important relationship every boxer has with the coach. So into the final round, and Wayne Batten, I think, will be fairly pleased with the way it's gone so far for Franco. Ali, as usual, it's the survival job with the occasional flurries. Just now and again, he throws a, a couple of shots to show what he could do with a little bit more aggressive intent. He's got that peekaboo style, hasn't he, Ali? But just occasionally, he comes out of the shell and will land the odd shot here and there. But again, Frankham not rushing things. It's better, and just maintaining the gap, that's important, that's good work there from him. Just maintaining that gap as he's not falling in on his work. So, better boxing from Frankham. Getting up, up, up on his toes a little bit, Frankham. Showing a bit of mobility. a handy looking right hand into play again on the back of those two left hand leads oh that was nice avoided the shot there and then he comes back with a nice left hook that was that was better from Frankham we're actually seeing Ali throwing more shots uh, in this last round coming forward on the odd occasion but that's giving Frankham more opportunities and more openings Shot up through the middle, Frankham, being made to miss again by Ali, who again just eats up another second or two as the final bell comes closer into the last minute now. One round the back of the head, and Bob Williams will have a word about that, having told them to break. They clearly won every round, Franken, but Ali putting up a little bit more of a, a show in this last one. Yeah, he's, um, he's thrown more shots, hasn't he, Ali, in this last round. That's not a bad right end there from Ali, that was a good shot. That's just reminding Franken that he's still there. But overall, it's been a good performance, I think, from Franken. So, last few seconds, final bell sounds and Frankham knows he'll have done enough to have picked up another win Ali staying the distance yet again maintaining his little record of never having been stopped in his busy career 
Franken making it three out of three. How impressed are you? I am quite impressed with him, to be quite honest. I think um, there's, there'll be a lot more to come. But at the end of the day, he's won every round. He looked comfortable. I think he's got good variation, works well behind his jab, switches that attack downstairs. And, um, you know, he, he's got different uh, different shots, the uppercut and the left hook. So, yeah, I think he's a, he's a, a fine prospect, to be quite honest, and he's doing OK. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of boxing, our referee in charge, Bob Williams, scores this contest 40 to 36. For your winner, and still undefeated, Joshua Frickon. Our first entertainment of the night, a young professional making his way, third paid contest, and Josh Frankham winning it by way of shutout. Four rounds out of four, Paul.